And then here's why. Yesterday in Riverside Park, the scissor wielding man attacked five people, including a two year old toddler. So we're learning some Krav Maga moves this morning, some self defense tactics to figure out how to protect yourself from everyday situations. I'm an everyday guy. Here's the thing they were teaching me some t techniques earlier. I just want to shout out to my grandmother. Yes, these guys did not hurt me. My grandmother was concerned that you were hurting me. So here's the thing. What would you do in a situation if a scissor wielding man approached you? Would you attack? Would you run away? Most people would run away, including our news director, who was saying simply he would run away, which a lot of people would do. So here's the thing a lot of people would say, hey, you know what? I don't even want to efface this attack, or I want to just, you know, take off as quick as I can. But you're saying that may not be the situation. What are some key moments and some key areas that you'd want to attack if you wanted to fight back or if you had to? Yeah, let me direct that to Carlos. Please. Okay, you have to engage in vulnerable targets. Okay. Eyes, nose, nose, throat, okay. shoulder plexus, groin, areas where you can't add muscle, you oh, can't improve. Feel that one. Yeah. Okay. Now, why those areas? It deflects them for a moment to give you that energy to run away, that moment to run away? It's a soft tissue target. Um, seven pounds of pressure per square inch breaks the nose. The throat is very sensitive. They're equal for everybody. Okay. Big, small, strong, weak. So let's say a situation is a guy's coming towards you with the scissors. You actually see him. You have that moment to react. Let me just go over that move we did earlier and just show what would happen in terms of running away. So you're I mean, saying if, a guy if comes I have over the you. time and if I have a little bit more distance, I will first start with my longest sling. Okay. Which will meet you before. So the long the leg is longer than the arm. I would prefer to meet you before, then follow up with attacks. I will attack. I'm the defender right now. So okay. one boom boom and then I leave. And then run away. Yes. If you don't have the option now, you are the defender. So defend, punch at the same time to avoid. Same spot. time. Yes, to a vulnerable spot. Okay, not just to a muscle. Here, you can tolerate that. If I do the same thing here to your nose, you fall. Okay, so one, boom, and few more. And yes. So he's, he's subdued for a second to give you that energy to yes. run away. You just need to buy time. Okay. okay. You, you are not if you're a woman in the situation. The person's a lot bigger than you. Don't be afraid of the same situation. Thing. Same thing. How quick does your instincts have to kick in? I mean, this has to be an instant moment to be like, okay, I have to. The average time of response for an uh, average human being will be uh, three quarters of a second. Okay. Yeah, that's, so let's uh, talk about what actually happened here in Riverside Park. An innocent person who was simply walking by said, okay, I have to do something. I have to help these people in, in this attack. And he actually subdued the attacker. So you're saying there's a way to do that. There are many ways to do it. It really depends where you are coming from. But t today we're going to review what, what happens if you're coming from the rear. Okay, so if the attacker is attacking somebody. Yeah, so he's attacking me, and then, like, you are the savior. Okay. So when he's attacking me, and I don't know what to do, then you can do what I learned. Okay, so grab so the you eye. grab the eyes, okay? You pull the head back. You push the knee with the heel in and turn him and follow up with him, yes. And then From here, yes. Over his neck. Yes. So why, why is this? From here, he can't go up. If he try to go up, you give him another more, a little more pressure, that's it. More pressure, it'll be okay. Okay, got it. All right, thanks, guys. You guys are from Robin Real quick, how many people are going your class? So we are on 103 in Broadway. We're called IKM New York. Um, we have a website called ikmkravmaga.us. Everyone can sign up uh, online. Thank you very much. Check out our website. We'll have all the details on pix11.com as well. Back upstairs to you, ladies. All right, thank you so much.